Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 183, NASDAQ up 51, S&P's up 17, gold contract down $2.80, trading at 1,285 an ounce. Silver down nine cents at $18.42 an ounce. Platinum up 11 bucks. 984 an ounce copper up two and a half pennies at 259 a pound light sweet crude down 57 cents trading at 52 dollars 61 cents a barrel notes 10-year note down six ticks 125.28 30-year bond down 12 ticks 153.20 king dollar down 223 ticks 100.240 the euro is trading at 106 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is trading at 108.98 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a SPY out here. Trade it up $2. You're at 234.57. You did 60 million shares. Come down Thursday with 95 million, but guess what? You're over the high. Bottom line is that that's saying it can get right up into and try to test again, which would be really wild. The high of the 5th of April, that is 237.39. Dow Industrials, same type of setup inside the Dow Industrials, which you have with the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials up a buck 80. Uh, that number there that you're looking up where we had failed on the 5th, that number there, the bottom uh, is 20,639. The top is 20,887. So that's a big number up there. The NASDAQ composite. What do we have with the composite? Same type of setup inside the composite. Composite up 51 bucks. Uh, you traded over the 58.56. Right now, actually, we just closed right at it uh, by about the two tenths uh, of 1% over it. And uh, volume is anemic, folks. This is the one of the lightest. No, this is the lightest volume uh, full trading day of the year. Uh, we did this. Oh, no, look at that. It just kicked in. Okay. Uh, when we had had the 535 million at the close, you did 703. So 703 going into 778. The lowest volume day of the year was the 10th, which was of April, which is 661 million. Inside the, NY, uh, inside the NASDAQ composite, uh, well, the composite, this is going to be the latest for the composite. The composite did $1.363 billion. Uh, the load, the, that was going into the $1.629. So the composite did do the lightest of the year. If we take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs went up on 13 million shares. Uh, you're at a high of 131.48. Uh, that high is 131.51. We had hit 131.50. Uh, the three Qs right now are trading at 131.42, down six cents. What that's all about, Netflix came out with numbers. Uh, Netflix had closed up $4.33 at 147.25. That's trading down three bucks right now at 143.24. And uh, we'll, we'll come back to Netflix. We'll talk about uh, those numbers uh, in the next segment. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, folks, traded to a price point out here today of uh, 1297.40. You did 188,000 contracts. Uh, this baby uh, is building cars to get up to its ABC structure first, which is the 1307. I expect what you're going to see here. This thing is going to run for the November swing highs, which are 13, uh, 16 to 1319. Silver contract, same type of setup inside silver. Uh, silver had 58,000 contracts out here today, uh, and silver is still hanging right at the highs. It's pretty amazing what's, what's going on with silver, actually. Uh, silver won't back off these highs. The highs that we're talking about is the highs from the 27th of February, which is the $18.50 level. We traded the $18.65 today. It looks to me that this actually 
wants to get up into the November 9th high, which is $19.06. We had the 10-year, just about finished its ABC structure on the way up. 10-year uh, got to 126.13 today. Your ABC structure price projection was 126.14, so one tick away from it. What I expect we're going to see now is that you're going to see the 10 as well as the 30 build more cars for what? Higher price, lower yield. Pretty amazing uh, watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, what we have out here in the 30 year is you're trading 153.20. You got to 154.15. The ABC structure uh, inside the 30 is dealing at about 156.50. So that has not reached its one-to-one -one price projection yet. And King Dollar, what do we have with King Dollar? King Dollar, folks, uh, is trading at 100.235. We had light volume out here today, and this rejected lower price. Uh, King Dollar is going to need a lot more volume in order to break down. Uh, what King Dollar has done, and this is the second time that it's done it, uh, is that it broke under the 100 well, it's actually the third time it's done it. Let me pull this back for a bit. Uh, breaking into the 100.600 mark. That 100.600 mark is a big number. The reason being is that we had been in a consolidation. That consolidation started March of 2015 and went all the way over to November of 2016. So you're talking a long period of time. You consolidated. You broke out of the consolidation the second week of November. The dollar index went from 95 all the way up to 103. And guess what? We broke back inside it the second week of February. We broke back inside it the last week of March. And now we just broke inside it once again. So the number to keep your eye on uh, on this is 100.600. Because what does happen is that when you break back inside a, a lower range or you break out of a higher range, Bottom line, you can go to the top of the bottom. In this particular case, what you're talking about is that you're talking about a failure of the breakout. And so on a longer term basis, that rises, raises the possibility uh, that what will happen is that this can make its way down to the 93 to 92 area, which is the bottom of the consolidation, which did start in March of 2015. So uh, you can expect there's going to be uh, lots of volatility out there inside that currency market. Uh, we go back over to Netflix for a second. Netflix right now is trading at 143, uh, down three bucks from the close. Uh, you stay right there. Uh, we'll be coming back. I believe uh, United Airlines is also coming out with numbers, and we're going to have those numbers for you as soon as they come out. Mm -hmm.